I'm gonna talk to you a little bit. I'm working out. I'm gonna talk about resolutions. So I started this year with some resolutions of my own. Initially, I wanted to uh, drop a bunch of weight, compete in a physique competition, starting uh, I don't know March, April, something like that. Uh, I finished up 2016. Uh, kind of as big as I wanted to get. My goal was to hit close to 240 and I got 241 pounds so that's kind of right where I wanted to get. A little more fatter than I wanted to be. I put on from 14% up to 17.8% body fat so <laughs> kind of packed on a little more chubbiness than I thought. But anyhow since the first I've been dieting pretty good working on my uh, exercising and cardio and all that. Cardio hasn't really been on point yet, but I'm working on it. But anyhow, I've uh, gone from 241 down to about 230, 230. A couple days ago I got down to uh, uh, 229, <laughs> but I kind of bounced back up to about 233. Um, anyhow, uh, I know a lot of you guys that are even watching this uh, do their own resolutions and I know it's still fresh in the beginning of the year, it's only February and uh, <clears throat> this is the time when you really kind of start to get burnt out you know that the foods become really boring and bland and you'd rather sleep in than, than work out or you'd rather only run one mile instead of two or whatever your problem is my problem has been getting up at 4 o'clock to do cardio. <laughs> I really don't like doing that. But anyhow, I've already plateaued. I would have thought I wouldn't plateau until I hit about 210 pounds, but I hit about two, 229, and I'm having a hard time getting underneath there. I've got my diet pretty much dialed in to where I'm getting about 2,600 calories a day. And I thought that I was burning uh, you know about 3,000 calories a day and then today's Valentine's Day Holly got me this cool Fitbit for my Valentine's Day and so far so far I've burned 3,346 calories <laughs> so it's not making sense as to why I'm stagnant the only thing I can think of is I'm still getting some muscle growth and my muscles are getting denser my fat is going away but my stomach's already gotten uh, quite a bit slimmer. I um, started out with, I want to say, a 40, 42 inch waist. I'm down to 39. I'd like to get down to 32. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but let's step it up Go from 30s to 45s. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger said. Big weights equals big muscles. <laughs> so anyhow, today's a chest and, sorry, back and biceps day. I figured I'd work my biceps out first today before I hit in the back. Anyhow, so some thoughts in my mind. I've been toying around the idea of starting a YouTube channel to do more video blogs than Facebook stuff because it's kind of <clears throat> kind of boring just doing Facebook updates. And I think I can get a bigger following on <clears throat> YouTube. <sighs> <sighs> so, but anyhow, if you're out there doing your uh, whatever you're doing, whether you're cutting or bulking and you're plateauing, I don't know. I really can't give you much good advice to so just stick with it. Uh, like I said, I. I'd like to hit before my birthday, which is May 6th. I want to be below 200 pounds, which last year when I dieted, I got down to about 205 and I stopped there and then I gained it all back. <laughs> Went up to about 230 and then up to 240 from there. But um, anyhow, uh, we'll see if I can hit 200 pounds before, uh, before May 6th. That's my new goal. So. I'm at 230 pounds right now. That'd be 
was it February, March, April, May? Three months to drop 30 pounds. So 10 pounds a month. Ugh, that's pretty, pretty steep. But we'll see. Um, I still plan on doing a competition, but I think I'm going to gear it more towards um, um, November or October, if there's any competitions around that time. That would be, I think, once I kind of drop down, I'm going to lose a lot of muscle, I think. Oh. And then once I get the, uh, the leanness down, I can work on bulking again just for a little bit and then cut down one more time before competition. So, I know this is kind of just a rambling video. I figured I'd just give you my thoughts while I'm working out. What else am I thinking about? How about a spiritual? Let's go spiritual. I know some of my friends are going through a lot of trials, a lot of changes in their life, some big changes, some not so big. But one thing I can definitely say is God is never changing. I know, man, my, my motivation, my uh, dedication to everything, whether it's diet, spiritual life, family, studying, um, building life better with Holly or my kids or procrastinating, everything is me just up and down. I'm the least, most consistent guy I know. But it's good to be centering yourself around something constant like God, especially when your life is not. And I don't, you know, I don't have the woes and the the uh, downfalls like a lot of people have. You know, things definitely could be worse for me. I'm blessed to have a good job. I'm blessed to be a hard worker. <clears throat> I'm blessed with a good family. And I thank God for all of that. And if you are going through some kind of a oh, trial, just stay persistent. Keep the course, because even though your trials are going up and down, God's not. God's still there. He's right, right here, or over here, or He's fully encompassing you with love and direction and guidance. Um, so if you're going through that dark time, just keep going. He's going to be there. He's got His hand on you, and He's helping you through it. And if you're doing good, keep doing good because God's already there. Oh. See what I was talking about. I don't really know. I think what I might want to start doing is adding suggestions and comments. If you guys want to put a comment on there, maybe something you want me to do, I'll rifle through them and Pick something I want to do. I thought about doing some more funny stuff. I haven't done anything funny in a long time. Life's too serious to be funny. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but uh, if you think that's a good idea, maybe you can comment on there. The uh, four people who actually watch this. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, that's probably good enough for now. About to lift some weight seriously and uh, stop this talking and stuff. I'm gonna sign out the fit.